just a wee extra kind of hint and tip. Um, sometimes people I know with wigs like this, which have your kind of fashionable chunky type highlights, um, I don't know how well you can see. I will try zoom you and see what we what we see. If you can see on the lace at the parting, sometimes you can see little tiny dots along the parting. Now what those dots are is your hand tied knots and if you have dark roots or a dark wig then a hand tied knot will look like wee dark dots basically along what would be your natural scalp um, where the hair would be coming out of the follicle. So what I do often and have done many a time with different wigs in the past there are some darker dots. If you want to hide that kind of hand tied knot I have told one of my friends about this, she thought I was crazy. I am a bit crazy, um, <laughs> to be fair. Um, yeah, there is such an easy way to do it. Honestly, so, so easy. It can be your perfect kind of skin color. Now, what I am going to use is some foundation. Foundation? Does that sound nuts? Yes. However, some foundation. This is the first foundation I've grabbed. Do not use the dewy foundation. I would recommend more of a matte foundation. I'm going to use this Becca one that I have just now because it's closest to hand. I'm going to just squirt a wee pump of that out just now. I've squirted it onto my poor mannequin. And I'm going to grab my makeup brush. I'm going to just dab it in that. What I'm going to do over this hand tied section here, I'm just going to rub some foundation. Now don't apply too much. If you apply too much of this foundation to your hand tied section, it can come through and end up on the hair fibres and then you need to wash it and then it's all starting over again. So, pick whatever colour you want your scalp to look. Um, if you use your own foundation, obviously that should be your own skin colour anyway, so you will have a kind of perfect match. Often, um, if people obviously have their own biological hair, generally speaking, not always, but generally speaking, um, your scalp, because it's not exposed to sun the way the rest of your body is, most people's scalp will actually be fairer than the rest of their face. So you might want to use a fairer colour, you might not. So I do this all over the monofilament if I'm worried about hand tied not showing through. You don't have to. This is something that if you choose to do, it's absolutely your decision. It's not something that's specifically recommended by anyone. It's just a wee kind of tip trick thing that I've learned along my alopecia journey. Um, okay, and at the lace front as well, it's more in dark wigs, it's apparent because the knots are darker, or if you've got a rooted wig, then the knots are dark. So it can be contrasting if your skin is very fair. Um, and some people feel that just makes it look too wiggy. And I know of people who will only buy wigs whereby the parting is so fine you hardly actually see scalp and the reason that they do that is purely because they are so worried that it will look too wiggy by seeing the knots so i've told a couple of friends about this i know a few people have tried it i know that you know i didn't invent it it's not something i invented it was something i did one day because i was a bit crazy told a few people most people were like what some people already said oh yeah i've done that before i've done that on millie's front so yeah, it's just another wee thing out there and I kind of think it's good, wee hint and tip. So if you're at all concerned about the monofilament and any hand tied knots showing through or your lace front, if you like to keep the lace front longer because you're trimming this yourself um, and you're worried that it's the lace is apparent, it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be. Now, I don't know how much of that you can see. The other thing you might notice, which just shows how much of this it actually does cover up, I have a scalp tattoo, which always generally shines through. Now, the parting is definitely more visible, I would say, now that I have just done this. But although it's more visible, it's extremely natural. I'll try, I'm trying to zoom you in. I'm not seeing any wee hand tied knots there at all. Don't, not, not seeing any not even really seeing my tattoo shine through to be honest with you. So that's just a wee kind of tip for anyone out there as a wee Brucey bonus from Michelle. So yeah, one of my wee, Michelle's wee magic tricks for wigs. So guys, I hope this has been okay for you. Um, I hope you like this. So thanks for watching.
Bye guys. Bye guys.